I really should just let you go to your parents alone. No. I want you to come with me. Why? Why? Yes. Because we're in this together. Whatever happens from here on out, it's you and me. No matter what? No matter what. Been waiting to hear that a long time. Yeah? Yeah. What you told me earlier about the Redman, it means a lot to me. Which part? That if it was me, that that would be okay. It means a lot to know I have somebody like that in my life. And I want you to know that that's completely reciprocated. Hello? Yeah, this is Shane. Yeah, I can do that. No, I can do it. Yeah, I'll be right there. All right. What's up? I need you to come with me. Let's okay. go. You, my darling, are going to make an amazing doctor. Because I know how to heat up soup from a can? <laughs> Because you know how to take care of people. Somehow that's not on the med school application. Hey, you know you're going, right? Hmm? To med school? Mm-hmm. I'm serious. I know. Everything's gonna work out. When... When did you get all zen? Okay, the day that I took the MCATs. The first time. All I was thinking about was the test and becoming a doctor and what happened. Failed horribly, miserably. Yes. <laughs> and what else happened on that day? Ah, uh, you met me? Exactly. And then we got married and my life took on a whole new course. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. that yeah. Who's complaining? Look, I still want med school and I'm going to work damn hard to get it. But I've learned something. I'm not always in control. And sometimes the best things just fall into your lap. I think you're right. Hey, Shane. Thanks for coming in, man. I'm sorry I had to ask you to do this. It's all right, you know. Um, of course we're going to ask him the closest thing he had to family. Ready? Ready. Absolutely, coming. Um, hold that thought. Sure. Well, so what you got? You got any preliminary findings? Well, my report will be pending a full autopsy, of course. Right, right. Well, what about some uh, initial impressions? Well, with floaters, I like to look at the lungs. Right, and? Well, Miss Winslow didn't have any liquid in his lungs, which means that he was dead before he hit the water, right?
Hi. I, I couldn't find that blanket. I couldn't fly, find it anywhere. I went down to the river and I still couldn't find it. The river? Yeah. Where? Where, uh, where Edmund, they found Edmund. Uh, I saw them carrying his body away. Why did you go there? Because I had to go. I had to see it for myself because it didn't seem real to me. It just, I had to make sure that it was real. And now? real he is dead it's all real Reba. our life our baby and your health it's all real is it is it over i mean is it really over i'm gonna make sure it is <laughs>